Imagine you're going to see the doctor. You know your doctor well due to your asthma, but you notice that when your asthma gets worse, your eczema gets worse. Maybe they're connected. Your doctor insists otherwise. But what if you're right? Type 2 inflammation is when the immune system becomes overactive, developing breathing problems and other diseases. Many diseases, including but not limited to asthma and atopic eczema, can be considered type 2 inflammatory diseases. Despite their connections to many different diseases, many people aren't aware of type 2 inflammation, even doctors. This is best seen through how researchers have understood eosinophils, an immune cell involved in triggering type 2 inflammation. Eosinophils were traditionally dismissed in medical science. They were only relevant to specific diseases with few uses. But new research has brought a paradigm shift, challenging this assumption. Researchers now understand that they have a wide range of jobs throughout the body. They're involved in lung disease, bowel disease, skin and immune diseases and are important in developing immunity against diseases. There is also growing research on type 2 inflammation disease treatments by targeting immune cells which cause type 2 inflammation. When scientists use targeted treatments to block type 2 inflammation for severe asthma, patients also found it helped to treat atopic eczema and nasal polyps. All of this shows how multiple type 2 inflammation connects these diseases. But, for a series of diseases defined by interconnectivity, people who live with type 2 inflammatory diseases often feel isolated by a medical experience of misunderstandings and misdiagnosis. If we learn more about type 2 inflammation, we can improve the lives of people with inflammatory diseases.